We have the almighty power of Spriggins, uh, some Scareclaw Pile. The YCS really did showcase that there are a lot of interesting ideas that are still rotating around out here to showcase. Don't beg 30% of you, they're not smashed. Do the give living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out more ass content. So the first system we're looking at here is the power of Spriggins. Uh, many of you might be familiar with Cyberstein here, actually just kind of moving on into this deck. Cyberstein was kind of one of those cards that kind of stuck around and was like the go-to card for this deck because who would have guessed being able to make an exterior against your opponent actually is pretty good. Especially since you can, you know, easily make the Gear Gang NX to search for the Cyberstein. It's all effectively part of the combo, and you can go up your uh, sprite ladder here afterwards. You've got a pretty strong board with this deck. It's a lot stronger than a lot of people kind of remember. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have triple copies of Gamma with one driver, one copy of Cyberstein with one sprite blue, and one sprite jet. We have triple copies of Rocky, two copies of Brothers, two copies of Kit, one copy of Branga, one copy of Captain Sargas. And we got the one Regulus here, triple copies of the Gold Gondola, triple copies of Spriggan's Watch, triple copies of Booty, one copy High Spirits, triple copies of Tally Ho, triple copies of Pot of Prosperity, two copies of Sprite Smashers, one Terraforming, and triple copies of Infinite Permanent. Starting in the extra deck, of course, we have the one Lambda, one Platinum with one Explorer, two copies of Merry Maker. Two copies of Captain Sargass, one Dijin Buster, one Gigantic Sprite, one Baguski, one Gergigant, two Zeus, one Sprint, and of course, one Exterior. Then we have triple copies of Droll and Lockbird, triple copies of Ghost Bell, triple copies of Lava Glum, one Gaga Cowboy, one Call By, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, and one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster here. Wrapping up the power of how fast can you get to the Cyberstein and chill. I, I think that that is uh, literally the best way to describe the experience of playing this deck. So next up here, we have Scareclaw Adventure. Now, for those of you that have been paying attention to like how this pile has kind of been showcasing itself, it really has kind of turned into how many engines can we splash together to make the maximum amount of success. Now, it's not to say that, you know, this build isn't good. No, 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 What I'm saying is there are so many intricate parts and moving pieces in this deck that is what makes it a very strong metagame contender right now. And I mean, once again, I mean, Ancient Fairy Dragon down here for the rotation of, you know, any one of these mini field spells for your combo actually is so good. So once again, we have Triple Ash with triple copies of Distrudo. We have two copies of Droll and Lockbird with one Effect Builder. We have one little Sea Turtle, thank you, Small World Target. We have one Ghost Bell with one Ghost Ogre. Triple copies of Fenrir with one Lava Glom. We have one Magician Souls with one Deer Note. We have one Foxy Tune with one Xeomin. We have triple copies of Gamma. One copy of Acro with one Astra. We also have one Balone. One copy of the Scareclaw Kashdira. One Reinhardt with triple copies of Vices. We have one copy of Griffin Rider with triple copies of Water Enchantress. One Driver with one Illusion of Chaos. We have one Draco back with triple copies of Emergency Teleport. We have one copy of Faithful Adventure with one Foolish Barrel. One copy of Kyoto Waterfront. Triple copies of Ray Sloth. One Paralino. We have two copies of Rectophobia with triple copies of Rider of Amesia. We have one Scareclaw Arrival with one Set Rotation. Triple copies of Small World. Your one Terraforming. And of course, one copy of Sclash. Then we have two copies of Triheart. Two copies of Lightheart, one Ceruja, one Link Spider with one copy of Cherubini, we have one Barricade Board Blocker with one Access Code, one copy of the Vampire, one Draco Sack, one Scarlight, one Psyche M Punisher, one Baron, and one Ancient Fairy Dragon. And we have one Drone Lockbird, one Illegal Knight, two copies of Nibiru, one Called by the Grave, Triple Cosmic Cyclone, Triple Dark Ruler No More, one Arby's Feather Duster, one Appointer, and of course, two evenly matched, wrapping up your awesome list. Next up here, we have Plunder Patrol. Runic. Now, the thing I will say about this deck that has really kind of put this deck on the map is free consistent draw package, very, very minimalistic commitment in the monster lineup, and then you just kind of sprinkle on the evenly matched with this deck, and then you look at your opponent and you go, you can't beat me, I'm better than you, I'm a pirate. That is the Plunder Patrol Runic experience. Honestly, it, it's, it's free minimalistic commitment that makes these engines with Runic 
really shine to their fullest extent. So, once again, we got triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, two copies of the uh, Plunder Patrol Sea Guide, one copy of the Patrol Shipwright, triple copies of the Golden Hair, with one copy of Kumamungus. We have one copy of Radion, with one copy of Redbeard, with triple copies of Whitebeard, and we have one copy of Shipyard. Triple copies of Runic Destruction, one Dispelling, your triple copies of Flashing Fire, two found with triple copies of Curses, triple copies of Slumby with one copy of Smiting Storm, we have triple copies of Tip, triple copies of Evenly Matched, triple Imperm, and one copy of The Booty. Down in the extra deck, of course, you have triple copies of the uh, Plunder Patrol Captain, two copies of the Mork, one copy of Baguski. We also have one copy of the Jord, one copy of the Bran, one Coral Dragon with two copies of the Lice, two copies of Hoogan, and two copies of Gary. And of course we have triple copies of Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood, triple Nibiru with one copy of Moon, triple copies of Dark Roller No More, two MST and triple copies of Rivalry of the Warlords here. Wrapping up your minimalistic yet effective runic package with this deck and once again, I mean, more and more people have started to see this deck actually function and work. It's amazing. Next up here, we have Drytron. You know, we, I think a lot of us all kind of agreed that once Vice Deals went away, that this deck would have its little renaissance, where this deck would kind of come back out of the woodwork here. Players kind of look around and be like, hmm, you know, I kind of want to, kind of want to test out the waters for this. And that's what we're seeing here today is, even though this deck didn't get very far beyond top 64, it's become a very scary uh, contender here. And obviously, Dynamondo here has helped this deck out immensely in terms of um, its little extra power pushes here. So we have Dribble Copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy Spring. We have one Diviner of the Herald with two Droll and Lockwood. Thank you, Jack of the Hand. We have Triple Copies of Alpha Thuban with one Delta Altaius, two copies of Altanen. We have triple copies of Albaya. We have triple copies of Effect Veiler. One Herald of Orange Light with two copies of Space Rock. Triple copies of Ben 10 with one Natasha. We have one Draconis. One copy of the Illusion Chaos Max. Triple copies of Good Old Emergency with one Fafnir. Triple copies of Nova with one Foolish Bro. We have one Jack in the Hand. And we have one Matanos Drytron with triple copies of Infinite Impermanence. Down in the extract, you have the one Lingariba with one Nightmare Phoenix. We have one Herald of Mirage Lights. Well, two copies of Dynamond. Uh, this card is actually like the absolute nuts for this deck. We have one Boral Sword Dragon with one copy of Fucho. Two copies of Mubeta Fafnir. One Downer with one Zeus. We have one Beatrice with one Ultimaya. One Herald and one Crystal Wing. Then we have one copy of Lancia. Triple copies of Ghost Bell. Two Lava Gold. One Call by the Grave. Two Kazakh Cyclone. Triple Cross of Designator. And triple copies of Dark Roller No More here, wrapping up yet again the very interesting experience that the metagame has kind of presented to us here in terms of developments, at least in terms of the Drytron department. And the last ones we have for you here is a very small Sky Striker package built in to our um, Kashtira deck. Now, I, I didn't really think, like, too much about this, but and the more I thought about this, like, I want to talk about this. We're playing literally just three cards in here for Sky Striker access because it's a mini toolbox engine that lets you draw a card potential. I mean, look at the amount of spells that are in here for this deck. It's actually nuts. So we have triple copies of Fenrir, two copies of Riseheart with triple copies of Unicorn. We have triple copies of Gamma with one Scareclaw Kashtira. We have one Driver with one Feather Duster. We have triple copies of Birth, triple copies of the Kashtira Theosis. Triple copies of Lightning Storm with triple Pot of Prosperity. Triple copies of Raceloth with one Afterburners, with one Widow Anger, with one Engage. We have one Terraforming with one Talents. Triple copies of Thrust, triple copies of Evenly, and one Big Bang. Then in the next check, we have one copy of Donner. One Flare Metal with one Diabolsis. We have two Big Eye with one Draco Sack. We have one Shangri-Air, that's right, just one. Two copies of Riseheart. Two Zeus with one Dark Armed. One copy of Omega. We also have the one Fossil Machine Skull Wagon. And one Anitis. Then we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Triple copies of Dimension Shifter. Triple copies of Ghost Bell. One Eagle Booster. One Appointer. One Dimensional Bear. And triple copies of Rivalry of the Warlords here. Wrapping up everything that we have for you off of this YCS uh, 
interesting deck profiles. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I look forward to seeing some of the other ideas that are actually brewing out there. Peace out, guys. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.